so uh, again, thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, this is a project, small project we uh, did in North Wales across a couple of hospitals. So I'm Pritam, um, I'm, my background is I'm an orthopedic hand surgeon and I did this combined with uh, uh, Prash Yasudesan, who's a hand surgeon from um, Bits of Gwynedd um, in Bangor as well. And we uh, had a supervisor for this project. Uh, Vivian Lee, she's a plastic surgeon in Manchester. Uh, the main reason to take this project was uh, because hand surgery is a high turnaround, high volume of patients. Uh, today, I've, I've got about seven to eight patients on my list, uh, whereas a typical orthopedic uh, or any other uh, list might have three or four patients. So we generate a lot of um, uh, waste as a result of this. And surgery itself, as we know, uh, is a major contributor to carbon, carbon dioxide emissions within the hospitals. Uh, and if you look at the uh, carbon footprint, it, majority of it comes from the non-medical non equipment and other supply chain. Uh, the scope of this project was within the theater in, inside performing when we were performing a uh, routinely performed hand procedure such as a carpal tunnel surgery. Um, carpal tunnel surgery is probably the most com commonest uh, procedure we do in orthopedics and hand surgery. Almost 53,000, up to 80,000 every year in the UK are performed. Um, and this was a simple PDSA cycle where we um, uh, put our project through the various phases, and I'll show you the various, various uh, aspects in a minute. Um, but if you were to look at the sustainable uh, QI uh, uh, framework, uh, we, we divided this into four steps where we set our goals. What we wanted to achieve was mainly uh, to look at the carbon footprint and how can we reduce the carbon footprint and how do we actually focus on where the carbon intensive pathways within the theater and outside the theater were and how can we implement a lean, lean and a green theater setup and green pathways for the patients to come through and the way we wanted to measure our impact was mainly threefold we, we measured the volume of clinical waste we estimated the uh, carbon footprint uh, across the two standard and the lean and green pathways and we also estimated the cost savings and how can we generalize this uh, lessons to the wider other surgical procedures. Uh, so we started by simply wanting to cut down on our um, unnecessary usage of instruments and drapes. And we also were interested in say, uh, implementing a green patient pathway. Um, and we, we cast our net as well as possible. We involved everybody that we could think of within our hospital and outside the hospital, including the patient's feedback sterile services unit, procurement, con infection control, hand therapists, admin staff. We, are, we, want, we were interested in knowing where they thought we could improve on things and the way when we were doing things. Uh, and across uh, our journey, we had support from um, Green Surgery Challenge where this project was enrolled into 2021. We were lucky enough to come second uh, in this uh, challenge. And this project also has had support in Wales from the Bevan Commission which supports ideas across the healthcare. Uh, and it's a great platform to come, come and pitch your idea. And you'll have lots of support within Wales and, and, and outside as well to, to, to have that network and support that you, that you really need. So picture on the left is what we wanted to implement. Uh, uh, my, when I do a carpal tunnel release, I just need these instruments, five, six or seven instruments. What we were uh, instead opening was all these instruments, which we really didn't need when we perform the carpal tunnels. Uh, and we're also opening all these packs. As you can see, there are multiple reams and reams of packs that uh, each, each patient, uh, when every time a 10, 10 minute carpal tunnel was being done, we were opening all of this uh, single use items, which you know individually we looked at each and every one of them. And uh, a lot of this is just not, not necessary. And this is how we changed our setup from picture on the right to the picture on the left, uh, picture on the left to the right. So the picture on the right includes everything that we would have in a carpal tunnel uh, setup, including the sutures, including the dressings and everything else. And we changed our drape from the left to the right uh, from a big drape setup uh, where we thought it was just not necessary. We changed to two 90 by 90 square dressings where, where we did not compromise on our sterile uh, sterility of the um, environment as well. Um, the, the pathway that we wanted to really implement was how we would uh, really implement change on the day of the actual procedure itself, rather than having the patient come to the ward, wait for about three, four hours, and then have a 10 minute procedure, go back to the ward, wait for another hour or so, and then do a lots of paperwork. We wanted to try and see if we could bypass all of that and maybe bring them directly to a minor procedures room than to the main theaters. This is something which is evolving right now. So I've just left it there uh, because this is something which is work in progress as well. 
But what we really looked at was how much time can you save and how much manpower can you save by changing from a traditional pathway to a green pathway. Um, and historically, a patient would come to our ward at 7.30 in the morning and it, it, they would go home by one o'clock in the afternoon. But you could, you could see that we could have the amount of time a patient spends in the theater and half number of people could, you know, you could free up them to do other things. So we performed about uh, 300 cases till date across the two hospitals. And luckily there have been no complications. Uh, all the patients had gave us excellent feedback. There was uh, overwhelming staff feedback as well. And this is just an example of uh, how, the, how, the, how much of waste was reduced uh, from three and a half kilos to 1.2 kilos per, per procedure. And this is just a run chart showing when we implemented our changes, when we measured our waste, this is how much it was, if we, we, we could change. And we then did a carbon footprint savings. We, we found that we could actually decrease the carbon savings by 80%. Majority of it was because of small instruments and small drapes. And also if you could bypass the board, you could have even more savings. Cost analysis, again, we, 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 we felt that we could uh, save approximately two thirds of cost uh, and approximately 35 pounds per each, per case of a carpal tunnel we could do, but just do those two small changes. Um, so, uh, just a summary of, of what we found. Uh, and this pretty much takes all the three boxes of um, triple bottom for sustainability. It's great for patients, it's great for the economy, and it's great for the environment. So they, on, on the pyramid of sustainable surgery, this essentially sits right in the middle about if, uh, where, where lean service delivery is. Uh, it doesn't really, uh, you know, we pretty much um, might make a dent into it, but the major impact is actually on, on, on changing the patient pathways outside the theater and disease prevention and patient empowerment, which, which we are working on now. Um, so this is what we've estimated just by these two small changes, you could save approximately 2 million pounds across, across the UK and uh, reduce almost 1.2 1, 1. Uh, million, million of tons of uh, carbon dioxide. But more advantageously, you know, Dick reduced short, short stay in the hospital. You could do much more, more procedures so there is increased productivity as well and it's much cheaper. So where do you want to go from here? You want to expand this to other operative procedures. So we're, uh, I'm, I'm now engaging my plastic colleagues to use this as a template to work towards other procedures which might have reproducible steps like total hip or total knee replacement within the process of collecting information for carbon footprint for a, those, the, those are the really big carbon dioxide generating procedures. And we're also in line with GERF guidelines, uh, get it right first time guidelines, trying to move out of uh, theaters to perform performing these minor hand surgery procedures by performing this in a MOPS room or a minor procedures room. And at our hospital locally, we're about to, we're going to open this next week. This is just an algorithm that I've just put in there for, for people to go away. There are multiple areas that you can look at, not just within the theater, but outside the theater as well. Thank you very much.